What's going on YouTube? It's me, First Year Review, back in here for another video. Today, I couldn't really think of a restaurant to get, so I was like, you know what? Let me go get a couple snacks, something that I haven't had in a while, just from the grocery store. So, what I got here is some empanadas. So, we have this uh, store here called the Metro. It's kind of like Fortino's or like any other supermarket you go to and they have like a hot food section. It's that. I don't know if it's going to be enough food, but we can hope it's going to be enough food because I didn't really eat today, but I'm sure eight empanadas is good enough. I also got a snack, but we're going to bring that in later when I'm done eating this. But before we get into it, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything helps, leave a comment down below. If anything you want me to talk about, any shows you want me to watch, any uh, food you want me to try, I'm down to do it. Now let's get into it. Um, these are hot. That is what it looks like there. Take a bite. I expected there to be like more beef inside. There's like barely anything. Well, it's actually pretty good. I heated up way too much. It's kind of burning my hands as I'm holding it. Man, you know what I'm missing, which I'm always missing, is some sort of sauce. I do not know why I just don't get sauce when I buy foods. Because this would, this is all right on its own, right? I feel like it'd be so much better with sauce. Like, with sauce, I could dip it in. A sweet chili, maybe a gravy, I don't know, anything. Anything but just dry. Ketchup, maybe? Do people eat empanadas with ketchup? Oh, no. I get that. Anyway. How was your guys' day today? Mine was same old, same old. Finished work today, and as usual, the traffic was absolutely insane. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm holding it upside down. Nice. Uh, yeah. But... You know what I did do, not today, the other day, I finally did what I said I was going to do, I went and watched Babylon. Damien Chazelle's new movie. So I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going into the movie. I had no idea what it was about or what it was gonna be like. His trailer didn't really tell you much. All I know is there's a lot of music. But basically, it follows the story of like three-ish people and how they're all kind of intertwined and how their stories play out for the first. So first is Margot Robbie. Who's like this girl who wants to be like a star. She wants to be a movie star. The other time this silent movie. She wants to be a silent movie star. And then Manny or Manuel. Who I guess just wants to be in the business. The film industry and be like a director and stuff. But he doesn't actually want to be an actor. And then. Brad Pitt. Who's already. A famous silent movie actor. Now. I really like this movie. There's so many good things about the movie. I really liked it. It was a three hour movie, but guess what I didn't do? I didn't check the time. I didn't check to see how long the movie has to go. Oh. 
Everyone did a good job. Everyone did an outstanding job, of course. The movie had a lot of good actors in it. I kind of like how the movie had, like, no set direction. Like, it wasn't established at the beginning of the movie, how the end of the movie is going to end. It kind of just, like, took you on this, like, wild journey of these people, right? I shows how people change. How like the movie business is. And you know what? The movie was a lot funnier than I thought it'd be. I did not think the movie would be funny. I thought I'd go into the movie and not laugh at all. But the movie had like a lot of funny scenes, like the snake scene, for example. Or a bit Marvel's Robbie's neck. And she started chasing she started chasing the guy with a toilet seat around his head. I thought that was really good. Very really funny. The movie was like also a lot sadder than I thought it'd be too. Because you have Margot Robbie, who's like this crackhead, who becomes a famous star, and then she's like running around doing all this nonsense. She gets in trouble. She's like a falling star, and she brings Manuel into it and gets puts his life in danger. The end of the movie kind of reminded me of Pulp Fiction a bit because it was like, you no know, Pulp Fiction, everything's like relatively normal until like Bruce Willis goes into that basement. It's kind of like how uh, this movie was too. They go pay back this money and they end up going to like a basement where this guy's eating a rat. I was like looking at it, I'm like, what is this? But she brings Manuel into the situation, but he loves her, so he's obviously gonna do everything he can to help her. And she almost gets this guy killed. Not only does she almost get this guy killed, she runs away from him. You have one girl who's a crackhead. You have one guy who's like a hopeless romantic. And you have Brad Pitt, who's like, to me, genuinely a good person. And all he wants is love. He has to deal with the fact that, one, all the women he, he has in his life are going to end the same way. And then two, he's a, he's a failing actor now. He's a failing star. Like, his time is done. Like, when he goes and talks to the publicist, like, she tells him, she's like, your time is done. Right? Like, you, you were here and now you're gone. The media is evolving. Everything's evolving. Right? And through the end, at the end of the movie, when Manuel comes back to L.A., you could tell, you see how everything evolved. It just shows the, the evolution of cinema through the years. Speaking of the end, I love that end section. Like, the music playing, the flashing lights, all, like, the movies, like, flipping back and forth, showing how you know, movie shit is changing, showing pivotal movies like Avatar and Terminator. I loved it. Also, one thing that was interesting to me, but I guess he didn't tell him, because when the guy came in and let... Manny survived. Manny came back 20 years later, right? And it was because he stole or Margot Robbie was in debt $85,000 and they gave him fake money, right? $85,000 in 1932 right now in Canadian currency is almost $2.5 million. I don't care if it's 20, 30, 50 years later, you do not come back to the city. I would have had eyes on this guy all the time, but, you know, that's a movie. Also, there's a possibility that he just didn't tell Toby Maguire that he's back. But aside from that, the movie's really good. I give it like an 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. No, 8.5 out of 10. The only problem is I saw it late at night and I was super tired. A lot of it didn't register in my head. But one thing I did, I would like to change, like I understand. Why they did the ending the way they did. Like, Manuel going back to L.A. And, like, watching a movie and, like, crying and things like that. Seeing how, like, movies are different. I don't know. I feel like the Brad Pitt scene was so touching and so impactful. I feel like if the movie could have ended there. Like, if it did the whole Manuel and Margot Robbie thing earlier. And then they ended with the Brad Pitt thing. I think it would have been a lot better.
or not a lot better. I just probably would have preferred it more because I feel like that was so sad. He was sitting there. He's like, how do I tell him, like her that everything's going to end the same and that he was like, he's tired. He's just tired. He accepted the fact that he's no longer a big movie star and that he's like slowly declining and or rapidly declining, depending how you look at it. And he's just like, I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't have a wife. I don't have kids. I don't have anything. I don't even have my career anymore. And he just slowly walks away with accepting it and then just shoots himself in the head. Just like how uh, like his friend did, Georgie. He got rejected, shot himself in the head. That's another thing. He lost his like only friend, his best friend. The first person to tell him that he has talent. He lost him. So it's like, that was just a sad scene. So the snack I got here is a snack that I used to have all the time. However, it never used to be this flavor, right? Crispers. Look at it. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. So crispers are kind of like a chip thing. They're like super firm. They're super small. They're like they're probably this big. You'll see when I open it. The one I used to get all the time is dill pickle. So good. I would sit here and eat the whole bag in a day, right? Like I would buy it on my way home from like school and high school or whatever university. And I'd buy a whole bag of dill pickle crispers from the raw bar, wherever it was. Eat the whole thing in one sitting. And then I realized like, look how much calories, 140 calories in 30 grams, right? There's 140 grams here. That's like almost 600 or maybe more than 600 calories. I don't know. I'm not that great in math. Let's get into it. Oh, I can't open this. All right. Ooh. Look at that. Jalapeno. Whoa, so good. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. So, I think this is focusing more on the cheesy flavor than it is the jalapeno flavor, but I still like it. It's not as good as a um, dill pickle, but it's still really good. That's good. Last one here. So that wasn't too bad. I'll probably give the empanadas like a 6 out of 10. Because they were dry. They were good, but they were dry. If I had like something else, I do not know what you eat empanadas with. But if I had something else that... I could just dip it in or like put it inside of it when I open it up and eat it. I think it would have put it up to like an eight. Just on the principle that's epinata with sauce. But anyways, epinatas, six out of ten. Babylon, eight and a half out of ten. Great movie. Definitely go watch it if you can. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below of anything you want me to talk about. Any movies you want me to talk about, shows you want me to talk about, tops you want me to talk about, uh, foods you want me to try in the GTA. I'm down to go try them. Remember to check out the suggested videos in the side. Follow me on Instagram, and yeah, this is First Shoe Review. Peace.